Why none of them can stand up and say, you people, this is enough, this thing is wrong. Nobody seems to know the truth. Nobody seems to stand up to rebuke the others and say, this road we are following is leading to hell. Let's go back to the highway of holiness. Nobody seems to help the others. The same thing in Africa, in Nigeria. Nigeria is the heart of deception in this world. With false prophets that you have to go see and you are carrying big lumps of money. Every time people from South Africa have to go there to see them. With big sums of money. Since when did Jehovah send Jeremiah or Isaiah to Israel and Isaiah asked people, Israel, to pay money to receive the message? Since when? Who has bewitched the Church of Christ? Why can't you use the Bible as the point of reference? Why doesn't the Church use the Bible as the balance of the scale, the weighing scale to weigh if the Lord has spoken? Why is the Church of Christ in such deception and yet the signs of the coming of the Messiah are right here? The Church is in witchcraft carrying money to take Nigeria in order to receive a prophetic word. What kind of gospel is that? The church in the United States of America in immorality, women are naked, even on Christian TV, they are naked and they cannot see that they are naked. They cannot perceive that the Messiah is holy. They are not able to know that. And they are running big global TV, so they are shaming Christ. You see false prophets speaking there as if they are comedians, joking. The Lord is saying that this is the hour for repentance to clean up the entire earth. And that's why he's bringing massive power to clean up the ungodliness of men. To clean up the deception of men, the disobedience of men, the immorality of men. I have seen an earthquake coming. The Messiah is coming. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. Those who are fears, please listen to the words of the Lord and prepare in repentance and absolute righteousness and holiness. Shalom.